Welcome back everyone to EU4. This is going to be the final episode here. Uh, we are about ready to integrate. Uh, finally, the Commonwealth. And with one year to spare, we're going to integrate them here in a, just a few months. July of 1820, the Commonwealth shall be ours. But before we do that, we do need to go to war with Gascony. And I want this land to be part of our land. I don't care. We're gonna, just going to go to war and do it. There we go. We are at now war with these folks. This is not going to hurt our overextension at all because we're not going to core this land. We don't care. We've got plenty of admin points to get this done, I hope. Uh, it did not fire the modifier. But that's okay. We're just going to go to war with the world. The remaining world, that is. We don't care. Our good friends of the Commonwealth will join us in this final triumphant Battle. The battle that'll end all battles. And I haven't really been paying attention. That's... I just don't really care. We're at war with... All these people. I probably should go to war with Austria one more time. Main. I think we're already at war with everybody. Eh, that's fine. <clears throat> September. And we're over our limit. We don't care. This is just the uh, final war that the Commonwealth will be joining us in on. We will not, unfortunately, be able to annex these guys, but that's okay. It's perfectly fine. All the derps in the world are descending on places. Oh, I got some dudes there. November, looks like. Well, give it to me. Well, this is all I wanted here. No, they won't give it to me, huh? Well.
November. Why does it keep moving? There it is. There it is. That is it. And the game is going to end in one month. Let's just end it. That's fine. Yeah, we'll take this. Really, dudes. There it is. There we go. Final score. Absolutely fun and a blast. We finally have completed our campaign uh, as the Portuguese people. That, my friends, is the map. Oh, oh there we go. Portugal. Absolutely beautiful. This was an absolutely great campaign. Uh, really enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun doing it. Scraped the sc uh, scraped the rust off of a lot of my skill in doing this and learned some of the new mechanics. Um, I will be coming back to EU4. I'm going to take a break from it. This does take a little bit of mental... It, it, it's a little exhausting to play sometimes mentally because you have to plan. And I... Yeah, the early game is kind of easy, but later game, we might. I mean, look how close we're doing to World Conquest. All we needed to do was take this. And that could easily be done. This, easily done. But we did not focus on that for a World Conquest. Uh, that wasn't my goal in the campaign. Would not have taken exploration or expansion. You know, early game probably would have done something like religious uh, to get the Cassus Belly to go to war anytime we wanted. We have more merchants, and of course, that doesn't matter because we're finished. We have finally shown the world the love of the Portuguese people, and for those of you who would like to see it, here it is. This is going to be the timeline, and I am going to essentially mute myself while this go is going on, so you can see the rise of the Portuguese Empire. This was a fantastic campaign. Really enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun. And we're going to do something else a little different next time. I don't know where I'm going to start. Um, but we will be playing EU4 again. And we'll probably do some more achievement. Well, I may, might do an achievement run. I don't know what the plan is. But for now, let's just go ahead and show the timeline. Here is the beginning of the game. And we will kick it on fast. I'll shut up and let you enjoy... The expansion of the... Oh, let me close the outliner here. Uh, how do I close that one? Uh, is there a button I can close? I thought I could... No, not that. I thought I could close this. Oh, it doesn't matter. You just won't be able to see Australia. But that's the end of the campaign. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.